In this video, we're going to continue studying related rates, uh, and this particular related rate is a plank leaning against a wall. So why don't you take a moment and read the problem. Thank you for reading the problem. Sometimes it helps if you draw a picture with related rates problems. So here I'm going to draw a wall, and I've got a plank leaning against that wall. Here's the ground. Now the plank is 25 feet. Now we're going to assume that the ground and the wall create a right triangle. Now we don't know very much, but let's go ahead and designate the base as x, and let's designate the height as y, and use that picture to help us. Again, same thing as we always do. We're trying to figure out first what it is we're trying to find, then it is our known rate of change, then we're going to need a formula, then we're going to need to take the derivative of that formula, and then lastly, after the derivative, we're going to plug in. Ladder problems are notorious for people trying to plug in too early. So remember, do not plug in until after you take the derivative. So let's see, what are we trying to find? Well, we're trying to find how fast is the top of the plank moving down the wall. So the plank is moving down the wall. Well, down the wall means that that length is getting smaller. So let's keep that in mind. So how fast is that changing? So we're trying to find dy dt, because we called that y, at the instant when the bottom of the ladder is 24 feet from the wall. So that's when our x value is 24. So as the plank slides down the wall, uh, it, the la base of the ladder slides further and further away from the wall. Well, what do we know? We know the base of the plank is being pulled away from the wall at the rate of 2 feet per minute. So dx dt is changing and getting larger. So dx dt is 2 feet per minute. So we're going to need a formula for this scenario. Well, we have a right triangle, so how about the Pythagorean theorem? And we can go x squared plus y squared is equal to 25 squared. At this point, it's time to take the derivative. And remember that this is implicit differentiation. So when we take the derivative of x squared, we get 2x dx dt. When we take the derivative of y squared, we get 2y dy dt. And when we take the derivative of 25 squared, we get 0. Now we're trying to find dy dt. So let's go ahead and solve for dy dt. If we subtract the 2x dx dt over, we get 2y dy dt is equal to negative 2x dx dt. And then dy dt would be negative x over y dx dt. Now it's time to plug in. Well, let's see. We do know that x is 24. So now we can plug in a 24 in for x. And if we know our Pythagorean triples, or if we do the Pythagorean theorem, we can solve for y, and y is now 7. So plugging in, again, we're looking for dy dt. So dy dt is equal to negative 24 over 7, and our dx dt is 2. So that leaves us with dy dt is negative 48 over 7, and that's going to be feet per minute. 